welcome. My name's Claudia, and I just really want to start by honoring you for being here, for taking the time today to really tend to your body, to soothe it, to strengthen it, to stretch it in a way that in this modern moment in time, we all really need, and not only the physical body, but the emotional body, the spiritual body, they all desire this time to just get a bit more space. So with that, let's, let's come to take up some space. Drop yourself down onto your mat. Let those legs go wide like a star. And then bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And know that this is really all that you need. So feel free to close your eyes. And then let your awareness Fall upon your breath. You know, if there's some part of you that's not quite here, that's fidgeting, that's fantasizing, know that that's all right. Know that this is just the beginning of this process of arriving, of up-leveling, of unhooking unconscious thoughts that you might have been projecting. So if you ground your body with your hands to your body, let's start by simply acknowledging that you are here, that you have taken that first step to bring self-awareness inside. And as we do this work individually, we begin to change the trajectory of where we're going as a community, as a collective. Now, as a collective, let's take what might be your first real breath of this day. Take a big breath in. And then a deep breath out. Let's do that again. And continue to put emphasis on adding even more texture to the breath. Let it light you up. Breathe in. Ah, add a sigh, breathe out. One more, it's gonna strap you in. It's gonna set you up, inhale fully. Exhale completely. All right, sweet souls, seal off your lips so by default, the breath happens in and out from the nose. And then with that beautiful breath, that ujjayi breath, use it, utilize it to bring in some movements throughout your being, your bones, your body. So give those tootsies a flutter, wiggle through the fingers, and then allow those movements to expand out into some primordial stretches and then once those stretches have completed themselves let's all together bend into the knees and you're going to bring your left knee to stack directly over your left foot now pick up your right foot and bring the ankle to your left kneecap We'll go for figure four position from here. So hug your left thigh in and bind your fingertips around your left thigh. Now we wanna keep this nice and active. So check in with your feet, 
flex them. This is gonna help protect the joints. And then over time, what I want you to think about is drawing the left knee closer in towards your left shoulder and simultaneously pushing the right knee further away. So by consequence, you start to feel it in that right outer hip, right? Yep, <laughs> into your IT band. And this space gets really tight if you do a lot of linear movements, a lot of running, cycling. Actually, it also gets really tight if you do a lot of sitting. And let's face it, we've all been sat down a little longer recently. So let's just hang out and breathe here. Okay, now you're going to keep the architecture of the bottom half of your body. You're going to wrap your fingertips around your skull behind the head so allow the hands to cradle your head and then lift up the shoulder girdle keep your collarbones spread and then we're going to engage the front line of the body as you send your right elbow to the right foot so really try to bring the elbow to the entire circumference of that foot so find that connection and then spread your wings so keep that left elbow winged out take a breath in as you breathe out, come back through center, but keep your chest elevated. Now that is your rhythm. Inhale, elbow to foot. Exhale, bring it back. Isolate the movement. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Get real specific about it. Twisting on the breath. Releasing on the exhalation. Last one. Make it count. Gorgeous. Now drop the shoulders, hook thighs in, wrap fingers behind the knees, give them a little squeeze. Mm, a moment of self-love, of self-touch. Easy breath in, easy breath out. All right, we swap sides, left ankle, right knee, right knee is in, hands are swinging behind that right thigh and gripping. And then the left knee is pushing further away from the left shoulder as the right knee guides and glides in. Welcome the outer hip, the IT band. Welcome it into this practice. Get it on board. Check in with the feet, flex them. And then also find softness through the upper body. So the bottom half of the body is super engaged and the upper body is resting, is releasing. So roll the shoulder blades back and down. Keep your neck long, your jaw soft, and your face relaxed. Now from this space, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. The scaffolding of the legs stays the same, but we interlace the hands behind the skull. Pick it up. Lift up through your chest, keep spreading your elbows wide, engage your abdominal wall, and then twist your left elbow to meet your left foot. Keep the right arm reaching all the way out. That's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back through neutrality. Good. Engagement. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. Last three. The breath guides you. Let it be the boss. Two. Slow it down. Squeeze all the juice out of this. Last one. Beautiful. Now drop your spine. Bring knees in. Hands wrap around the backs of them. You're going to use that connection to rock and roll. Forwards and backwards. Pick up momentum till you can eventually roll over your knees and meet me on all fours in a tabletop position. Now let's work into the wrist since we're going to be on the hands a lot today. Make sure they're fully prepared for this journey, for this adventure. So you're going to turn your right fingertips clockwise to face your kneecap and then spin the left fingertips anti-clockwise so both fingertips are reaching in towards the body the wrist creases are directly under your shoulders and from this space we'll just begin to take some circular movements and just take these circles around the wrist as big a circle as as feels tolerable for you today a little rx for all the typing all the texting all the upcoming chaturangas. <laughs> now switch direction. Take good care of your wrists. 
which are connected all the way through to the collarbones. So when we open up the wrist, we're also working into the frame of the lungs. We're allowing our posture to expand. We get to take in even more oxygen. So oxygenate the body, breathe in, breathe out. There we go. Now come back through center and give those hands a shake back out. Oh, I always find that really intense. So if you found that challenging, you're not alone. All right, walk your hands further forward, spread them, root them down, curl your tootsies under, and then bring your hips up and push them back. Downward facing dog. Now, this is your first one of this practice. And we all know that when you first get into down dog, you're like, Whew, I feel a little tight. <laughs> if that is you, I don't want you to see it as like, Ugh, I feel really tight. I want you to see it as like, yay, I feel tight. And I'm at yoga and I get to experience this delicious process of opening a little more. So do that. Open your hands wide. Open your sitting bones up and back. Open your hamstrings as you pedal your feet out. So continue to create space throughout the physical. And then we let that be the gateway to the physical, into the emotional, into the mental. Now take a spacious breath in. Deep, easy breath out. So nice. Gaze forward. Tiptoe your feet forward, take your time. So we'll bring the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Get your feet right underneath your hips. Take a generous bend into your knees so you're really not overtooking your hamstrings. And then I want you to drop your skull. Grab hold of opposite elbows and shake your elbows from side to side. Shake through your upper body. Shake the head like you're a container of spice. <laughs> and you can choose what spice you want to be today. Maybe it's a sweet cinnamon. Maybe it's some spicy chili. <laughs> Tap into your own flavor. And then with that, let's roll the body up. Take your time. Allow your spine to stack. And then let's go ahead and clear this space. So reach your arms out and up. Take a full breath in, everyone. As you breathe out, you're going to swing your hands back behind you, interlace them, and I want you to zip the wrists together. So squeeze them in. Pull your shoulder blades back so you can ping your chest forward. Think like a slingshot here. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bend into your knees and fold your chest forward and down. Now ride your hands over your back perhaps over the shoulders, maybe even over the head if you're hypermobile. Let the shoulders know we're coming for you today. Now take a big breath in, full breath out. All right, release those fingers. It's halfway lift, reset the spine, realign, breathe. High plank position, exhalation. Take a moment to find the correct set up. So strap in, heels back, head forward, scapula is engaged. Push hands down to lift through the shoulders. Find a sweet tuck of your tailbone and engage that front body. That's it. Inhale. Exhale. The knees can drop or you can shift forward and lower high plank to low plank. Test the waters. Roll over the toes. Float your chest high. Breathe in. Cobra pose or up dog. Find a sustainable and suitable position for your spine. So just check in. Make sure your shoulders aren't like this, all the way compressed up to your ears. Roll them back and allow your front body to flourish forward. Breathe in. It's down dog as we breathe out. Now just let whatever needs to move, move. By nature of you moving your body, you begin to shift some of that stagnation. We rinse the residue. Mm, we move. What's well, ready to move? Now move that oxygen throughout your being. Inhale. Exhale. All right, let's turn this practice up a little. Two rounds with that breath. Look forward as you inhale. 
step or even jump your feet forward as you exhale. Halfway lift, realign your spine, breathe in. Fold chest, bend into your knees, breathe out. Don't over tug those hamstrings. We're warming up for these first few cycles. Press down and lift yourself up high. Shoot fingertips wide, breathe in. Listen as you breathe out, hands come back behind you. Interlace the hands, grip them together and then pull them down to lift your sternum high. Inhale, exhale, fold yourself in half. Drive the hands over the back body. Remember, you are the captain of this ship. Breathe in. Release those hands. Breathe out. It's halfway lift on the inhalation. High plank, exhalation. Hands come down. Feet step or even jump back. Lower. Stay engaged through the front body. Keep rolling the shoulders back and down and then lift up into your back bend. Your spinal release. Breathe in, the spine is long. Down dog, you breathe out, that's it. Take a full inhale, sweet exhale. One more round, let's continue to build that heat, look forward. Step, flow, fly. Halfway, and then you release, release the physical to release the emotional, root to roll up. Hands high, and then take them back behind you. Interlace them, grip them tight, open up the front body, recruit your back body, and then fold yourself in half. Hmm. Hello, shoulder girdle. Breathe in. Hands release, breathe out. Halfway. Straight into your high plank. Don't skip this process. It's an opportunity to strengthen lower and not only the physical the emotional lift downward facing dog beautiful center yourself into all of those feel good thoughts right now when we make feeling good a priority we're no longer leaking or stuck or blocking or caught in the negative caught in those unconscious thoughts we are shifting we are uncovering we are allowing we are up leveling so stay open stay receptive stay connected connect to breath breathe in breathe out all right we move on mandala flow let's go right leg high breathe right knee left elbow breathe out engage through your transverse muscles i want everyone to try to tap that elbow the knee towards that elbow like you're giving yourself a little high five. Now from there, post the right foot all the way over to the left. Stretch out your hamstring. Option one, you've got four points on the ground. Option two, the left hand's gonna shoot up high. Now wherever you are, whoever you are, the same principles apply. We press down through our base to lift up through the hips, opening the chest and broadening through the breath. Feel the cells in your, in your lungs expand as you breathe in. As you breathe out, connect the left hand to the ground if it's not already. Really anchor through the fingertips to reach the right leg up and back. You're on the ball of the left foot. Steady breath in, stretch out the hammy. As you breathe out, knee to nose, tiger curl. Don't miss that engagement of the front body. And then step the right foot forward. If it doesn't quite get there, just wiggle it on through. And then bring your weight into that right foot. Press down through it so your arms can float high. High lunge. Take a moment to make some micro adjustments. So once you've got the balance, sit deep into that right knee. Push your left heel back. Find posterior tilt of your tailbone and try to create more space through the waist as you lift up out of it. Now we add in a twist, left hand reaches forward, right arm reaches back. Gaze over your right fingertips. When we work into twists, we start to tap into a fire element. So go ahead, stoke your inner flame, your inner fire as you breathe in, grow tall. As you breathe out, twist, go a little deeper. That's it, one more like that, breathe in. 
breathe out. Now listen, your left hand is going to lead the way. Warrior two, light yourself up all the way to the back of the yoga mat. You spin, you pivot, you reset the toes. Left toes are reaching to the back of your mat. Right toes are facing the long side. Wing your arms wide and then reverse your warrior. Right hand rests on your right thigh. Left arm arcs up and over the body. Sit deep into your left knee so you feel space through the left hip flexor. Then take a spacious breath in. As you breathe out, hands come down to the ground. Cartwheel the hands to frame your left foot. Remember, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Zip your heels together. Press the hands down and lower yourself towards the ground. From the ground, you stretch out your front body. Breathe in. I know you know this well. Exhale into downward facing dog. Feel the resonance of that fire. Feel the quality of your heartbeat. Feel the texture of your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left side, let's play. Left toes go high. Inhale. Knee left elbow. Exhale. Knee right elbow. We add in the twist. So tap knee in, tap it, like you're giving yourself some encouragement and then the foot goes out. So at the moment it might kind of just be bent like mine and then what we do is we push all the way out so you find length through the hamstrings. It might feel good to stay on both hands or if you want a little more, the right hand lifts. Have a play, make it your own spice, add in your own flavor. And then together as a collective, can you see if you can lift your hips a little higher? That's it, breathe in. As you breathe out, reconnect right hand down. If you lifted it, root to rise, left toes up and back. It's a three-legged dog on the inhale. Exhale, knee in, foot forward. Again, give it a wiggle forward if it doesn't quite get there. Now put your brain into your left foot to lift up your arm. High lunge, adjust yourself accordingly. Bend that left knee deeper, wiggle that right foot further back, tilt your tailbone and lengthen through the side seams. And now you've got this strong base, we twist to the left, shoot left fingertips back and trickle your right hand forward. Allow that twist to really work from the least mobile part of your spine, the lower back, and then let it ripple up through the thoracic and then eventually get your cervical spine involved, your neck as you look over the shoulders. That's it, left shoulder, you're looking over it, breathe in. Twist even deeper, breathe out. One more like that, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, now your right hand is gonna lead the way, it's warrior two to the front, like you're in matrix, full commitment. <laughs> Right knee bends, left leg is in extension. Open your arms and then reverse. Stretch out the right side of your body. Ooh, it should feel good, inhale. Exhale, your hands are gonna reach towards the ground. Full commitment, frame the foot. Start to zip the thighs together. We meet in a high plank. Set your chaturanga up well and lower into it. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, we breathe out. We're gonna take an active recovery from down dog, gaze forward, and then walk your feet forward. Take your time once your feet get to the top of the mat. Chin in, roll yourself all the way up through standing, and then connect one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. No need to overanalyze right now, so close down the eyes. No need to intellectualize or fantasize or fidget. Just try to stay in the seat of the witness. Let that be the space. Let that be the place where you're really taking the reins from today, where you're stirring from, from this place of willingness, with open arms, with an open heart, with this willing to learn. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, my love, second round, and we're going to add a little on. It's always invitational. Let's do this. Open your eyes. Arms are going to reach out and wide. 
Ooh, infuse the music into your bones. The music is this magic carpet that takes us on a journey. Now reach your hands back behind you, interlace them. The breath is the fuel. Open up the front body, inhale, squeeze the palms together. Exhale, fold yourself forward, dust yourself off. Work into those shoulders. We're going to need it for this next round. Breathe in. Release the fingers, breathe out. It's halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step or float back. I'm gonna see you through in down dog. Take your time. Notice those habitual tendencies to just wanna rush and get it over and done with. Try to linger in the strengthening and the conditioning. All right, from down dog, right leg high, breathe it back. Right knee, left elbow, engage the transverse muscle, step right foot over to the left. Option one, hands are down. Option two, it's fallen angel with the left hand lifted. Option three, you gotta come with me. Left heel comes down, let that be your break. Bend your left knee, bring your left hand to pick up your right foot from the outer edge. So I just tried to pick it up and you might just be kind of like here, Remember, we've all got to start somewhere. If you can pick it up and you feel comfortable, sit deep into that left knee and then start to reach your right leg forward. Rotate your left arm over the head. We find this variation of compass pose. This is why I told you we needed to work into the shoulders. So really rotate your left shoulder away from your ear. Stay lifted through the pelvis and keep pressing down through the pads of your fingers. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we come out, that's it. Left hand down, roll onto the left, the ball of the left foot and reach the right leg high, breathe. Step right foot in between your right thumb. Root down through it and then lift up your arms, high lunge. Listen, we're gonna add on. The weight comes forward into your right foot so you can pull your left knee up into your chest, one-legged Tadasana. Now bend your right knee, bring your left ankle to stack on the kneecap as you collect your hands together at the center of your chest. Bring the knuckles of your thumb right into the cavern of your sternum. Bend right knee, sit deeper into your hips. And just like how at the start we made those activations through the feet, do the same here. So flex the left foot, try to bring the left knee in line with your right knee. That's it, now option one, you will stay here. Option two, you can twist to the right. Your left elbow will hook onto the circumference of your left foot. So press it into the foot. Option three, we have grasshopper pose. You can bring your hands down to the ground, shoulder distance apart. You bend your right knee deeply. Now I stomp my foot onto my bicep. I wrap my right elbow in towards the right side of the waist into the rib cage. The weight comes forward. I grip the ground. Keep pressing the left foot into the bicep and try to lift the right leg off the ground. If you can lift the right leg, begin to shoot it forward. Moment of discovery of playtime, of exploration. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, but remember, it's all a practice. Yoga practice, not yoga perfect. Now, when you're ready to come on out, let's meet back in our figure four position. Chest comes through center. Everyone's gonna suction the left knee in and up Lift up the spine, erect the crown, and then float the left foot all the way back. Like nothing ever even happened. <laughs> Toes come down, arms up, take a big breath in. Twist to the right, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale together. Together yet apart, as you exhale, unravel to the back of your yoga mat, warrior two. Float through the transitions. The transitions are just as important as the positions. Reverse, breathe in, hands to the ground, breathe out, high plank, inhale, down dog, exhale. We all meet back there. From your downward facing dog, come back to your breath and use your breath less as one that's just sustaining you and more of one that is fully awakening you. Breathe in. 
breathe out. <sighs> All right, final round, final flow. Let's go. Left foot goes up. Left knee, right elbow. Get those wheels turning. Step the foot all the way over to the right. Hands can stay down. You may want to lift up your right arm, taking it to fallen angel. You may want to pick up your left foot, in which case the right heel comes down like a little anchor. Pick the foot up from the outer edge and then kick the heel forward. Rotate your right arm up and over the head. Stay lifted through the hip. Open through your chest. Press into the fingertips. Add in a little smile. <laughs> Trick yourself into enjoying it. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we come on out. Right hand presses down. Pivot onto the ball of the right foot and step left leg high in. Exhale, the foot comes forward. Brain is in the left foot. Lift up your hands. Weight forward. Right knee suctions in towards the chest, one-legged Tadasana. Bend your left knee, right ankle to the knee as the hands collect at your heart center. Pick the place that's going to tap into your potency. Figure four. Add in the twist. Right elbow towards the foot. If you went for grasshopper, bring your hands down to the ground. Bend your left knee deeply. Stack the foot on top of the bicep and bring the elbows in by your rib cage. We're only here for three more seconds. You can do anything for three seconds. Last two. On one. Let's all meet back in our figure four. There we go. Now right knee comes in. Use that hip flexor. Breathe in. As you breathe out, right toes go back. Float through this moment of warrior three. Once the foot lands, lift up your arms, inhale. Exhale, we twist left. Breathe in, let it set you up. Breathe out, warrior two, to the front of the mat. We're taking it home, reverse your warrior, inhale. Hands to the ground, exhale. High plank. Final destination is down dog. <sighs> Once you arrive in your down dog, everyone's going to drop to their knees and we're going to take our first child's pose of this practice. Send those knees wide. Hips towards your heels. Reach your arms forward. Drop your forehead to the ground. Allow back body to melt into front body. And then allow your front body to be cradled by your thighs. Hmm. Just start to simmer in all of that medicine that you've just cultivated, that you've just curated. And then we'll begin to turn the flame down a little bit. Take the temperature down. Let's take a slow, nurturing breath in. And then a steady breath out. And then with that, let's have everyone peel the spine up. So you come to sit on your heels and then you'll just sit to one side. Reach your legs forward. And since we've worked into this fire element, I'll practice all these twists. We'll add in an earth element now. We'll work into the back plane of the body. So if you're rooted hips, allow your legs to feel like some tree trunks. So they're just super heavy. Take a breath in and elevate up through your arms. As you exhale, fold your chest over your thighs. Paschimottanasana. Now drop your skull like a bowling ball and allow gravity to assist you. So we start to approach this final part of the practice which, with much more subtleness. 
with this sense of being really delicate. Now it doesn't take long after slowing down for the mind to begin to wonder. Just notice where it's wondered to. Notice if there's a thought or if there are many thoughts circling through the mind. My favorite spiritual teacher, Eckhart Tolle, says there's two different kinds of thoughts. There's thought with awareness, which is that consciousness, that separation that hears. And then there's thought without awareness. And that's when we merge with our thoughts, when we're asleep to our thoughts, when sometimes the thought can have power over us. So let's even say before you started practicing, you might have had those thoughts like, oh, you know, I'm really tired today, or I'm not gonna be very good at this, or I'm really not very flexible. Well, if you don't have awareness to those thoughts, then you and that unkind thing that you said to yourself become one. And then that is going to generate an action. And then that generates a version of yourself that you ultimately become. So what we're doing during this practice is pulling the layers back to really discover who we are underneath all of the noise. Now add some more noise to your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, now when you're ready for final integration, peel up your chest, come to lie your back down, just like how we started. Take up that space, so you're like a star. Close down your eyes. And remember, this is all that you need. Now feel yourself, come home to yourself, whole and healed. Gently start to reawaken your physical, a little rippling through the toes, a wiggle through the fingers. Inviting in any other movements that feel necessary. And then when you're ready, roll over to one side or the other in a fetal position. A center of rebirth. Feeling a sense of reincarnation as you press down to grow yourself tall. And we arrive back in a seat. Collecting your hands together right at the center of your heart. Bow your brain to your heart in honor of this practice. 
in honor of everyone that is practicing. And like I said at the start, in honor of you for making the time today, for, for holding this virtual space, for sharing your energy and for giving your body and your mind the gift of yoga. Now bow your chest all the way forward and let this bow be the symbol of the completion of this practice. Namaste. There's only one thing left to say and it is thank you. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing your practice with me. If you did enjoy it, then please let me know. Reach out. You can find me. You can tag me. You can get a hold of me over on my Instagram, which is at Mirlegro. So I'll see you there. Lots of love.